And tonight, neighbors are still shaken after learning several young people were shot at a Raleigh nightclub overnight. Police confirmed six teenagers are recovering in the hospital. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis joins us live. And Mariah, we understand the shooting started during a private party. That's right. As you take a look around us, it's a Saturday night and things are pretty quiet here at this club behind us. But just 24 hours ago, police said that they had a large private event for people who were 21 years and younger. And they said that it started with an argument that got out of control. A quiet scene on Paula Street Saturday afternoon, much different than the dozens of flashing lights outside Club Dreams Friday night. It's disheartening. You know, they all have mothers, you know, and I know that's. You know, that's got to be heartbreaking for, for younger people. Taylor Mayo, who lives in the area, couldn't help but feel for the families of six teens who were recovering in the hospital. Rally Police Lieutenant Jason Borneo says they were hurt in a shooting during a large private party. An altercation began inside of the club in which multiple shots were being fired. Lieutenant Borneo says the fight continued into the parking lot and says more shots were fired. The teens hurt, ranging from ages 12 to 17, went to multiple hospitals. Right now, the investigation is ongoing. Uh, as far as any suspects, we don't have any suspects at this point in time. Investigators believe they're looking for one shooter and say they're unsure if any adults were at the party. We talked to several people who work at nearby businesses who say it's not the first time they've had gun violence in this neighborhood. Mayo says, unfortunately, things like this happen too often. They're very common, uh, and you hear, I think we just become numb on it, and that's everything. You know, so many bad things happening around the country, and but you kind of have to you know, kind of step back and think, just what can I do about it? Mayo's not sure how to solve the problem, but something needs to change. Now, some of those uh, neighboring businesses tell me that they do have security cameras out here and believe that they might be able to help police with that investigation. Police also inform us that those six victims are doing okay and they continue to recover in the hospital. In Raleigh, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.